Everything is about having fun. The earth is full of wonders to travel and discover. Why not saving money to do more? To enjoy the outdoors, we need more of a small mobile accommodation rather than a fancy expensive lodging at the wrong spot. To play in isolated area or save money, we need full autonomy. We want to enjoy, eating well and comfy is part of it. We need all our gear, so storage is important. A love seat to chill, it's great. Of course, we want to sleep well, a good bed is awesome. There is restriction size in many beach parking and street parking. We need to fit in any parking spot. We don't want to spend too much money on buying the van and neither when we use it. Do it yourself, it's a wonderful project, you'll end up with the perfect fit for you. My name is Eric, here's the van that I had a lot of pleasure to design and convert. A peculiar thing about it is that I did not modify the vehicle. Not a single hole was drilled on the van. Everything can be transferred in another Siena in about 20 minutes. Or removed from the van to use it as a regular van. When you're doing a van conversion project, you are focused on the end results and the fun you're going to have with it. But in a few years, you'll have to replace the van. You may not want to spend all the time and money again in a few years or building the same thing in a new one. You have a huge advantage to design something transferable in another van. I made this conversion with a 3 years old used van. Everything that you see was made only with a jigsaw and a drill. There's plenty of space in a minivan. Even though you don't have a pop-up roof, you are perfectly fine. When you're inside, you are sitting or lying on the bed, otherwise outside. Also, don't forget that you can't be stealth if you open a pop-up. Household gear, soak it with suits, sandy stuff, anything that you don't want or need inside goes into the toolie box. On mine, there's my solar shower and my solar panel. I'm very happy to have such an easy access to my surfboard. I don't have to climb a ladder. I bought a nice brand new foam mattress and cut it to fit the van. It's very comfy. Also covered my bed sheet with a nice thick duvet. I've slept in temperature as low as 17 Fahrenheit and was never cold. In another video, I'll explain how to do so with winter camping techniques. Guess what? I sleep better in the van than at home. I put a 300 LED stripe with a dimmer. The quality of the lighting is awesome, there's no shade area. It can be as bright as in a gym or really cozy as a candle lighting. The window covers are made with Reflectix. It keeps you warm when it's cold outside and cool when it's warm. Right now it's full sunshine and very dark and cool inside, so you can sleep late. One of my must is the fridge. One of my imperatives is the table. One of my favorite is to go eat in the van with all windows open, it's much more cooler than outside. There's always a nice breeze that goes through the van. If I want to cook something very steamy, I can cook outside. It's the same table that you keep inside. Everywhere under the bed, there's storage. I use a small backpacking stove, you save space and you can go cooking on picnic table or wherever you want. The bed mechanism is pretty easy to operate. The bed is large enough for two person easily. I didn't put door on two storage, 
so that I can access my stuff even when the bed is in a sofa position. Also, you can angle the sofa at different position to chill. A sink is essential to me. To wash my hands, to manipulate my contact lenses, wash fruits, veggies, dishes, anything. I opted for a bar sink, small, made of stainless steel and deep. It is said that plastic sink is breeding ground for E. coli and salmonella. My faucet is connected to an electric pump and I'm very happy about it. So much more convenient to have both ends to do your things. Another convenient thing to have is a hard floor. It is so much more easy to clean. With just a small broom, everything is clean in seconds. A glass of Arizona green tea on a carpet may stay sticky for a while. I use vinyl plank 100% waterproof. I just love it. A small fan is very useful. I choose that one because it works with 12 volts, got two speeds, and you can clip it wherever you want. A must is USB port for charging all your devices. I use a real fridge of 50 quarts. I love that thing so much. It's really quiet, you always have something to eat and can stay longer wherever it's fun. You add a solar shower to all this and you are self-sufficient. The shower can be used with gravity or pressurized. Also, the water of the shower tank can be used as a water reserve. All the camper functionalities are 100% on solar energy. There is no modification to the electric system of the van. Quickly said, with the help of a charge controller, you take the solar energy and stuck it in an auxiliary battery. Then you are self-sufficient. Even if it's cloudy, it's still working. Theoretically, even the sun reflecting on the moon gives solar energy on Earth. Yes, there is a huge interest in having a stealth van. You won't be detected when boondocking. Even though with surfboard on the roof rack, you're not seen as a camper. No one have an idea of what's inside the van. With a small van, you save so much money in buying, converting, fueling, maintenance and insurance. I encourage you to live your dream. Go for it, convert your van and go have fun with it. To let me know that you want to learn more about my transferable van conversion, design techniques and adventure, I invite you to like the video and subscribe. Also, leave a comment below to let me know what you would like me to explain in the next video. This is such a nice do-it-yourself project. You'll have so much fun traveling and enjoying the planet. It's a pleasure to share experiences and knowledge with the community. See ya, and don't forget to subscribe.